Today is Friday, November 30th. We're about to head back down to Creekside Audio for session number two of our recording project for The Day You Lost Your Crown. The last time we got all the drum parts done, today we're going to be working on the guitars and the bass. Hopefully we'll get all the in instrumentation done today, and the next time we'll go in, the only thing we'll have left to do is vocals. Now I'm getting over being sick right now, so I'm very thankful I don't have to do vocals today, because that wouldn't be very good. I got some very disapproving looks from my parents for my last video installment when I shot a few segments of it while driving, so no filming while driving today. Sounds like a pretty good tone to me. Is that metal enough? <laughs> it's that much metal. Cool. <laughs> that I thought were, were rough or that I missed a chord here and there in tune. Tuning for your pleasure. It's 100% rock guitar. <laughs> what kind of difference will this give us as opposed to the Fender? It's going to take it from this level of rocking right here to like maybe like up there somewhere. This All is right. Farfag Nugent, the German metal sound. They, as you can see right here. Yeah, you there see it the is. fine print. Dust metal <laughs> with two L's. <laughs> Sick to any good recording. Conway's Irish Ale. <laughs> Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's Elliot Ness, sir. Is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got the wrong brand. Oh, well. <laughs> Actually, this beer is the secret to any good recording. You know, I'm not gonna. I swear I'm not gonna argue with that. I swear I picked up the Irish ale. I guess I didn't know. Uh, must move one one deal over. I'll let it slide. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's all good. It's all Great Lakes Brewery. Yeah. Great Lakes spells my name wrong on it anyway. Yeah. Get me. Say something to him about that. And get that strike. That should. <laughs> Over right there. But also, I, I wanted to see maybe uh, maybe on this track, leave off the little things in between too, if you can. Just that. I'm not getting too many of those. I'm starting to get worried about how many it's gonna, okay. how it's gonna just sort of overtake the rhythm section. <laughs> Gotten to the bass or the vocals yet? Right. What's your record for uh, for most tracks in a song? I've probably done uh, up in the late 70s, 80 maybe, somewhere around there. Hmm. Yeah. I got a ways to go before I can beat that. Yeah, there's a lot more hatred to get to that many tracks. But... I feel like we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it the old college try. It's the end of the night, and we're back in my apartment now. We had a very good recording session earlier today. We, um, we finished off all of the guitar parts. Uh, we started working on the bass, but the, the part that I was trying to play wasn't really gelling that well with the song, so when I go back into the studio in a couple of weeks, Wes is actually going to play that bass part. Um, but the guitar parts are done now, and they sound phenomenal. Uh, we, we actually did some really cool things in the middle section of the song that I'm, that I'm very excited about. Overall, the song is sounding really well. 
Uh, we'll go in for another session in a couple of weeks and we'll hammer out that bass part, we'll hammer out the vocals, and at that, after that it'll just be mixing and mastering and the song will be done. I'm really excited to get this song out there. Thanks. Today is Friday, November 30th. We're about to head back down to Creekside Audio for session number two of our report. Re blah, 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 blah.